this video is made possible by my game bundle. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to work from home effectively. I've been self-employed, working alone from home for about 10 years now, and this is how I stay productive. Let's begin! So given the current circumstances, it seems a lot of people are having to start working from home. So I thought I'd make a video sharing some tips, since for me this is my normal and not much has really changed. I've been working from home my whole life, and through a lot of trial and error, I've found several ways that help me stay productive. Here I will cover 8 tips that have helped me work from home all these years. As I said, this is what I've come up with after 10 years of working from home, however working from home and working alone are also very personal journeys. So my hope is that you take these tips and apply them to your life where they make sense. Every person is different, so figure out what works for you and do that. This video is made possible thanks to these awesome supporters. Go to patreon.com slash unitycodemonkey to get some perks and help keep the videos free for everyone. Alright, so first of all, work from a list. This one is probably the most important one. It's already very important for a regular job, but even more so when working from home alone. Working from home has the potential of having tons more distractions, and having a clear task list will greatly help you fight that. Every day, set up a list of specific things you're going to do during that day, and also keep a total list of things to do. There are many ways of making effective lists, so play around with various methods to figure out what works for you. For example, for me, when I make my games, I have a list of the next 20 or so tasks that need doing. Since making a game is a long-term process, I prefer to keep a more long-term list rather than just a daily list. However, when making the videos, which is a short-term process, I do it more by just setting the task for that specific day. Completing a game takes at least 6 months, so it's a very long process compared to making a video which takes 2-3 to three days. So I have two list times depending on what project I'm working on. Here's some book recommendations on creating lists and working effectively. Eat that frog, getting things done, and deep work. Making effective lists will greatly help you give guidance as you work from home, so it's very important to get it right. Also very related to that, and another extremely important thing, is study up on self-discipline. This is the thing that will either make or break how effective you are at working from home. If you're at home alone, you need to be disciplined to work when there's no boss watching you. This is definitely tricky at first, there's pretty much nothing stopping you from opening up YouTube or Reddit and just wasting an hour. So it starts off very difficult, but self-discipline is like a muscle, the more you work at it, the better you get. Working from a list really helps make things easier, so again, make sure you do that. Once you apply some self-discipline and get started working on a task and then complete it, you will feel great when you cross that task from the list. Essentially, self-discipline is the idea that you do what you know you should do, whether you feel like it or not. There was one audiobook that really helped me a ton when I was just getting started, which is The Miracle of Self-Discipline by Brian Tracy. I first listened to that back when I was really trying to turn game development into a job, and it really greatly helped me. So I definitely recommend you give it a listen and apply it to your life. This next one applies to working from home, but also working from an office, which is take frequent breaks. After about two hours of focused work, your productivity will almost certainly drop heavily. So do make sure you take a break around every two hours or so, and then go back to work with a more clear mind. One great thing you can do is go for a walk. So for example, if you have a dog, then take him or her for a nice walk. Just a nice 15 minute break is great for resetting your energy levels and letting you get back to work effectively. You will be much more productive if you take breaks than if you try to work for 8 hours straight. Now this next one is very important to me personally, which is stay physically active. Honestly, this one is what I consider to be the big reason why I've been successfully working from home and being productive without going insane over all these years. Staying physically fit greatly helps your energy levels and also helps you stay mentally fit while providing a much needed break from work. So this has also been my one big challenge during these times. I normally go to the gym every day, but now the gym is closed. So I'm trying to make do with what I can by going for a run, doing some push-ups, pull-ups, or whatever I can do to stay active. If I don't, then I can clearly see my productivity drop like a brick. Working from home will undoubtedly end up being more sedentary than working in an office. At least in the office, you still have to go there and go back home, and while in there, you probably walk around a bit, maybe go up a few stairs, and at home you won't have any of that. So if you don't focus on consciously increasing your activity level, then you'll just end up sitting in your chair the whole day and only getting up to eat. So make it an active goal to stay as physically active as possible. 
It will greatly help you both physically and more importantly, mentally. Then it is absolutely essential to have a routine. Just like your normal job where you probably work something like 9 to 5, you should also have a very specific schedule when working from home. If you just work whenever you feel like it, then you will not be productive at all. However, one huge benefit is it does not necessarily have to be 9 to 5. Some people are not productive at all with a standard routine. Some people work much better in the morning and some are more productive at night. So use working from home as a great opportunity to find a schedule that works better for you than the standard 9 to 5. For me, my brain works a lot better in the morning, so I've developed a routine that is very focused on starting early. And like I said, I also take frequent breaks. So as an example, here is my regular routine. First I wake up around 5.30, so get up and make some coffee. I write down my list for the day and I start working. I work from 6 to 8. Then I go to the gym and do a nice workout. Get back to work at 10 until about 11.30. Then take a break and go walk my dog. Then back to work at 11.45 until about 2.30. Then walk my dog again and have some lunch. And in the afternoon, my brain clearly doesn't work as well, so I just do some light work from about 3 to 4. Then take another break. Go back to work at about 6 until 7 or 8. Again, usually doing some light work. And finally going to bed at around 9. So that's pretty much what I do every single day. Again, one of the benefits of working from home is that you can be much more flexible. So sometimes, like right before I'm about to release a game, I pretty much end up working non-stop with only breaks for the gym, walking my dog and having meals. And on the other hand, if it's one of those days where my brain just isn't working at all, then normally I stop working right as the afternoon starts and pick it back up on the next day. And again, this is just my personal example of what works for me. The goal is to find a routine that works best for you. Personally, I find my brain works a lot better in the morning, so that's why I focus on the mornings. Also, I did not come up with this schedule on the first day I started working. It's something I've developed over several years as I learned better how my brain worked. When I started working on my Flash games back in 2008, I definitely did not have this schedule. Back then, being able to work for 2 hours a day was already a success. If your brain works best late at night, then use that to your advantage rather than trying to fight it. Try out various routines, focus on getting plenty of breaks, and figure out what works best for you. Next one is Eat Right. This one isn't necessarily specific to working from home, but it is one of the things that can be difficult. I found that if I have tons of snacks lying around, then I will resort to eating too much whenever I get stressed from work. And as the saying goes, if you eat like crap, you will feel like crap. So if you eat tons of crappy snacks, then you will end up really sluggish, which will make being productive a lot more difficult. Again, this is not specific to working from home. Lots of offices have tons of snacks lying around, but do pay attention to it since it can greatly affect your productivity. Related to that, also drink a lot of water. If you're used to going to a normal office, then chances are you're also used to going to the water cooler a couple of times a day, so remember to do that and drink water while working from home. Then this next one is honestly not an issue I ever faced with, but I see lots of people struggling with it, so I figured I should mention. When you get up to go to work, get dressed. Just because you're alone at home, that doesn't mean you can slack off on your appearance. While technically you could work without pants or while wearing pajamas, don't do it. It will be much harder to convince yourself that it's work time if you're still wearing pajamas. So when it's time to start working, get dressed, shower, shave, and do whatever you would do when going to normal work. It will greatly help reduce the amount of self-discipline needed to get started working. And finally, work from a dedicated room. Now this one is going to greatly depend on whether you have the space or not, but if you do, then this can greatly help separate work time from leisure time. But it's not a requirement. For me, I never had a separate room, so I've always worked and played on the same place and I can make it work. However, even if you're in the same physical space, do make sure you have some changes. So if you live with other people, make sure you tell them you're at work and close the door. Put your phone away and leave it on mute. Especially if you're a programmer, interruptions will completely destroy your flow, so protect yourself from them. Only have work-related programs open. Definitely don't open up YouTube during work time unless it's to learn how to do something. Stay focused and constantly say to yourself, work all the time you work. When work is done, then you can play. So these are my tips for working from home effectively. I've been doing this for about 10 years now and through tons of trial and error, this is what I found works best for me. It is definitely very difficult at the start, so if this is your first time, then don't beat yourself up too much if you fail. If you do, then you'll just end up frustrated and it gets even harder. Instead, accept your failures and make it a goal to do better tomorrow. As with anything, experience is key. 
Working from home and being self-disciplined is an extremely useful skill, and the more you do it, the easier it will become. And everything that I mentioned here is just what I found works for me personally. Every person is different, so take what I said here and test it out to find what works for you. So go for it, and best of luck in your own journey. This video is made possible thanks to these awesome supporters. Go to patreon.com slash unitycodemonkey to get some perks and help keep the videos free for everyone. Subscribe to the channel for more Unity content, post any questions you have in the comments, and I'll see you next time.